Good morning. Um, we're going to be doing my morning skincare today, going through everything. Going through, I don't know if you can see on the bottom here, I've got lots of products, some new products that I'm going to show you that I've been really enjoying. Um, if I'm talking a little bit quietly, it's because my sister's still asleep. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting on my dressing gown, tying her up. But yeah, so obviously every single morning you should start with brushing your teeth and washing your hands. So you always need to make sure that you're brushing your teeth before you start your skincare because um, all of the stuff that's in the toothpaste, if that stays around your mouth and like on your lips and stuff, it can cause breakouts that are like very preventable. Now I need to wash my hands, but I got sent a hand wash yesterday by a skincare brand called Then I Met You. And this is what it looks like. You know what? That's so cute. It's two hands hand wash. I'm not really sure why it's called two hands, but I don't know. Persimmon sweet orange eucalyptus vitamin E. And then I met you is like focusing on basically Korean skincare. Oh, that's very pretty. I don't know why I'm so excited over a soap. I've never like received a soap before. Wow, it feels very nice actually. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh my goodness. My mum is not keeping this. <laughs> my nails underneath are literally coated with soap. The lather on that is crazy. And now what I like to do is I am not someone that washes my face in the morning because I have very dry skin. So I put freezing cold water into the sink and then I put my head in it. This is not only for just like making sure my skin's fresh, but also because putting your head in cold water re-regulates your nervous system. So it's really good for you to do in the morning. You may have seen people that have like panic attacks and stuff. They put their head into like ice cold water and it's because it like resets your nervous system, but it's just a really good thing to do on a daily basis anyway. Also guys, I did post about this yesterday, but like having a cold shower or like finishing your shower cold at the end is literally amazing for you. And that's the same reason that this is amazing for you because um, basically the biggest nerve in your body is called your vagus nerve and that's stimulated um, by the cold water and that automatically reduces anxiety. Like when it's stimulated, it reduces anxiety. But yeah, I'm just gonna fill the sink with water and then dunk my head and then I'm probably gonna look like a little rat. Oh, I need to put on my um, headband. It's a dinosaur. <laughs> This is actually a really comfy headband as well. And also, I will be linking all of the products I'm using below. Yay! But I do need to like tuck my plaits in because they always like get in the water and then they're wet and it's so annoying. Does this look good? <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna run the water. And now we're gonna get dunked. always use toilet paper because it's a lot more sanitary than using towels because um, the nature of towels can harbour bacteria um, which can obviously then go on your face. It's making me feel very funny that there's orange going on here because I did try and put on some fake tan so I don't know if you'll be able to tell but if like my eyebrows look a bit orange that will be why. <laughs> I tried to, um, I'm currently trying out the Isle of Paradise medium self tanning drops, um, but I just tried them like on my forehead area because um, the rest of my face is like very prone to breaking out. So if my forehead breaks out, then I know it's an absolute no go. I'm now just gonna do some ice rolling underneath my eye because this makes me feel good and it makes me feel pampered. Even if it's not doing the most for my face, it just makes me feel relaxed and that does a lot for my face. <laughs> also, I've been using this magnesium powder at night. It's actually ashwagandha, reishi, magnesium and L-tryptophan. Um, but it's from a brand called Six Ways and normally I was using my Nutri Advanced Magnesium to get to sleep and I've tried this for a couple nights and slept really well. Last night I didn't take either, I was literally up until two in the morning, like 
when I don't take my magnesium I quite literally can't sleep so if any of you suffer with like waking up throughout the night or insomnia or anything like that try a magnesium um I don't know if they ship I don't know where they ship to be honest but um yeah you just like put it in a drink though and it's um tastes like hot chocolate but I would actually rather the drink be warmed up but I don't know if that would like ruin the blend like kill all of it <laughs> so now my face is like being freshly washed like with water that's when you put on um spot patches so i'm trying out the zit stick ones at the moment i've tried their normal what do you even call it i can't think of the name like basically just like the hydrocolloid like the ones that just like soak up stuff just like the normal patches and then i've also tried their micro dart patches that have the micro darts on and they were really really good my skin is really breaking out at the moment um but i know why like i've been eating out so much and i've eaten every single one of the foods that trigger my skin um like i've eaten dairy i've eaten gluten i've eaten a lot of sugar i've had lots of salt um like i've not been sleeping the best i've been stressed like everything has been you know um but that's okay because i don't i don't mind really when that happens because it's kind of, it kind of shows that like the lifestyle that I live does work for my skin because if I live the other lifestyle I'd constantly be breaking out. Oh okay, but these are the Zip Sticker Undercover Blemish Patches. Invisible Ultra Sheer Hydrocolloid Patch with Azalic Acid. Um, and Azalic Acid is a new ingredient for me but I've actually just started using it in the spot treatment. I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, so that's me explaining why I'm breaking out but not that I need to. I'm just trying to decide what to put it on. Maybe I'll put it on this one on my cheek. Just bear with me. Probably won't be able to see me for a minute. Um, I just need the mirror. I mean, you can definitely see it. But I think you can see it because this cheek is so red at the moment and this makes like a little circle of non-redness. Um, I think I'm just going to use the wand just because I do want to use my spot treatment and show you that on the rest of my pimples. But yeah, zit sticker, I literally like, I tagged them in one of my videos and then they DM'd me and was like, we want to send you some stuff. I couldn't believe it. Like, to me, zit sticker is just such a cool brand. Like, just so exciting. And then I'm going to use some caffeine and hyaluronic acid. So I just need to dampen my face again because you should never be putting hyaluronic acid on a dry face because it will dry your face out more because it traps moisture and if there's nothing to trap it just kind of traps dryness so we'll just i think i'm mostly just going to be putting it around my eyes though because it's the caffeine one um so yeah let me show you Um, I need to get, I don't know if they do literally just a caffeine solution, I know the ordinary do, but maybe I need to get that just for around my eyes, um, or maybe this one is fine, I don't know, maybe I don't need to buy anything else. And then the spot treatment I've been using is the neutralising gel from Dr. Sam Skincare. I'm loving Dr. Sam Skincare, I'm loving Dr. Sam Skincare at the moment, and um, yeah. They're actually a really lovely brand. I didn't realise they were such a small brand. Um, but I'm actually going into Dr. Sam's clinic. Not not next week, the week after, I think. Um, and she's going to tell me everything that I'm doing wrong with my skin. So that will be exciting. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is azelaic acid, I believe. Yes. And also, with skincare products, you guys know that... Oh gosh. You guys know that I love a short ingredients list and that is a very short ingredients list. Um, just so you know that you're not more likely to have a sensitivity to the product because if there's like a hundred ingredients in it, you're more likely to be like allergic or sensitive to one of them, if that makes sense. Sorry, I'm filming like two things at once. So we've got a big pimple there that we want to say goodnight to. Got a big one there. But also what I like about this is it hasn't broken my skin barrier at all and you can apply quite like a generous amount without your skin barrier breaking which is always quite nice because that is kind of like one of the reasons I'm scared of exfoliants because I'm, my skin is just so sensitive but exfoliants are like great for getting rid of acne so yeah. 
Also, I use the micro dark patches. Well, can you see here? There's like one, two, that they were pimples, micro dark patches, because it was literally turning into a third pimple. The pimple didn't even arrive because I was using the micro darts and sticker ones. Um, and then I think I will just like apply it around the spot patch because that area is just not really slaying at the moment. <laughs> oh, and then I did have, I don't know if you can see that, like, that's quite a big one there. And lots of people have been saying, like, why do you put on the spot treatment and then put on moisturiser? Firstly, that's the directions that it tells you to do. Um, and secondly, like, it actually does just sink into my skin. And I don't know what is in this that makes it feel like this. That, like, my skin feels so soft when I'm rubbing in um, the rest of my products. Like, when I touch my skin after I put this on, it literally feels like a silk. Like, I'm not sure what the ingredient is that makes it feel like that. But normally spot treatments feel quite like, especially like benzoyl peroxide ones, feel quite like dry, like the actual formula of it. So I do think that would move because it's like the texture of that's very different to moisturiser. Whereas I feel like that just like goes with it all like really, really well. I now just want to put on some of, oh, have I put any spot treatment on this? No, I haven't. And that definitely needs some. I don't know why under my nose has been really raking out. That's okay. Well, I do know why, but a bit of a random area. Um, and then I'm just going to use some of uh, this lip mask that I got sent by the same brand as the soap. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's then I make It's really difficult packaging for you guys to read because it's like grey. Um, but it's like a honey lip mask and I'm really enjoying it. Literally, when anyone sends me lip balms, I scream because <laughs> I use them all day, every day. Like, I don't want to finish this, but, like, this will probably be finished by the end of the week. It's so pretty. And also, this has got lactic acid in. It's got honeydew, squalene, vitamin E, and lactic acid. So at least it's doing some kind of, like, exfoliation for the dead skin cells. Whereas, like, it's not just, you know, petroleum, petroleum jelly? Petro petroleum jelly. Petroleum. Petroleum, right? Now it is time for moisturiser. So I use the Amiga Water Cream from the Inky List. Again, all of the products are going to be linked to below, but the Inky List products, I think I'm only using this one. Yeah, this will be um, an affiliate link. Um, but yeah, I literally am running out of this so badly. But we don't really need much of it right now anyway. Yeah, and I think one of the reasons my um, spot treatment doesn't move as well is because I tap in my moisturizer and then we of course need some spf because you should be wearing spf every single day honey buns and i'm going to be trying out this new one which is the numbers in i believe numbers in yeah numbers in pure full calming water sunscreen spf 50. it always throws me off when brands put 50 plus because it's like it's like what is it then you know is it 100 um, but yeah, I love the like applicator of this. It's super unique. My glow is coming back slowly. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, what have we got left? I brought my water bottle in specifically to tell you all that water should be the first thing that goes into your body in the morning before anything, before any juice shots before anything, water should be the first thing. Now we go on to a little bit of body care. So the, the deodorant that I use and now all of my family uses is the wild deodorant, which essentially like doesn't have antiperspirant in, doesn't have any nasties for your body. Um, because don't forget your lymph nodes are quite literally in your armpits. So if you're putting all of this like processed stuff in it it's not going to be that great for your health oh my god i just realized my sports bra matches i'm actually getting quite hot in this and i need to do my decolletage anyway and then i've got some garnier body lotion that we're going to be putting on my decolletage and neck and like shoulders because it's been getting so unbelievably dry um, it's the Garnier Body Intensive 7 Days 24 Hour Nourishing Lotion in Mango and Probiotic something. This is for dry skin. 
but yeah just make sure I'm rubbing all of that in and then I will do some gua sharing. I need to put it on my neck. I don't know why my neck has been getting so dry and so itchy. I think it's just like the change in temperature because now we're going into like autumn and winter. Um, but yeah. Um, if you guys don't know how to gua sha, you should definitely learn. Just stimulating the lymph nodes at the moment. I normally do gua sha on my face, but not today apparently. But yeah, that is my morning skincare routine. How I get, you know, the glow in my face whilst it's still being safe for acne prone skin. Um, yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, all the products will be linked below as well as all of my socials and things like that. Um, yeah, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day and I will see you next week or this week. I feel like this is probably going to be a bonus video because it's so short. It will only take a second for me to edit it. Um, but yeah, love you.